Hey Otters, it's Ethan back with another Reservation Days video. This time we'll be going over the room selection process, but it's better known as Selection Days. Uh, this is the time where you'll go in and actually select your space, and if you're a roommate group leader, select your future roommate spaces. Uh, the best way to describe this process is it's like booking a hotel room. You'll be able to filter rooms based on type and availability, for example. I think it's better to just show you rather than to keep trying to describe it, so let's get into it. I've always, I've, I've included three points of contact above my camera, but let me just show you how it should work. So to find the, uh, the selection days process, uh, just log right back into your My Housing portal, so mine is right here, and access your reservation days application at, during, or after your time slot. You will not be able to access it any time before your time slot, so we just ask students to do it on their allotted time so our server doesn't crash. Um, so once you access the application again, it will pop up after the roommate search tab. So let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. So it'll it'll show you right there. Um, so right now I'm currently working on a test user in our department, but this is essentially what it looks like. So let me scroll down a little bit. Um, so the following information is very important in regards to move in. So please keep in mind when you are selecting your space that these are firm move-in dates and we will not be able to accommodate move-in dates outside of these, uh, meaning essentially we will not be able to check in other areas on the opposite day. Um, so for the 2022 move-in, um, first year housing in area 2, we'll be moving in on August 19th, 2022. North Quad, Promontory, and East Campus, both Frederick Park 1 and Frederick Park 2, will be moving in on August 20th, 2022. Um, if you do need any type of move-in accommodations, please let our department know well in advance and we'll try to accommodate you. Uh, please keep in mind, for uh, any students planning on living in Strawberry, you may not be able to move into your space until 3 p.m. on August 20th, since one of our summer programs will be moving out that same day, and then we have to go in and make sure um, the space is ready for you to live in and, and uh, do cleaning and all of that. They'll be out probably earlier in the morning, but we just want to make sure we're giving you enough time to actually move in into a clean space. Um, also, please note you'll only be able to see uh, areas you're eligible for during the selection process. Um, if you believe you should be eligible for another area on the day of, please contact us via email as that is the best way for us to check. Um, so if I scroll down to the bottom, this account is currently main campus eligible, so they're eligible for area 2, uh, North Quad, and Promontory. So let's say I want to move into area two for the next year. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and select area two and it will show me what available rooms they are. There we go. Um, again, there's more information. Um, these are specific LLPs. So um, specifically for area two, we have our Africana Heritage Scholars on the first floor of Avocet, our LGBTQ plus scholars on the second and third floor of Avocet, our sustainable otters on all floors of Sanderling, um, our health and wellness uh, LLP is on all floors of Tortuga, um, but if you want to uh, be more specialized into substance-free health and wellness, that will be on the third floor of Tortuga. Uh, for North Quad, um, we're going to have our global perspectives on the second, third, and fourth floor of Pinnacles, our second year success on the first floor of Vineyards, um, and those are going to be our main LLPs for main campus. Um, just a note for gender inclusive housing, that's going to be in uh, Promontory East rooms 200 to 214, um, Vineyard Suites rooms 204 to 230, uh, Strawberry Suites uh, room 201 to 215. Um, please note that these may not be available, um, even if you select a gender inclusive housing, um, other students who, who have selected gender inclusive housing may have selected it first. So there is um, a limited inventory of this, but uh, most, if not all of our students who select a gender inclusive housing will be able to be living in those spaces. Um, yes, and then if you also have gender inclusive housing, regardless of where you choose, you'll also have the option of selecting a space in our LGBTQ plus scholars LLP, which is housed on the second and third floor of Avocet, like I mentioned just before. So here is what, um, this is the real chunk of it. This is what Selection Days actually looks like. Um, so this is super neat since now we can filter rooms based on preferences. So I'm um, looking for a residence hall double, a triple, or a quad. Um, we're actually, I believe, getting rid of quads for the next year. Um, so this will be updated to, I believe, just doubles and triples. Um, 
let's see uh avocet should be on here specifically avocet first floor so that should, will be added here as well but right now i i'm looks like i'm only eligible for tortuga and sanderling which is completely fine with me so if i scroll down i'll be able to look at all of these rooms and this is what um, most of them look like these are all doubles from what it looks like and these ones are triples down here so you'll be able to get a, a nice little sneak peek of what the room looks like uh, so once you find uh, the room or rooms if you're a roommate group leader that you want you can go ahead and add them to your cart and hit save and continue at the bottom and then obviously there's a bunch of pages and then you're also able to filter up here so you're also able to filter via a uh, suite or room if you want to just if you know what room you're going for um, you can just search for it real quick instead of um, hitting the the next button at the bottom or if you want to just browse the, the list of locations in like Tortuga or Sanderling you're able to do so there as well so I can't show you the next set because it'll actually check out the space for the next year and I, I really don't want to do that because I'm graduating but essentially uh, once you check out a space it'll be reserved uh, for you in your cart for the next 10 minutes um, and you'll also see a timer going in your cart. Roommate group leaders, this uh, should also be your time to assign spaces to your future roommates and once you're done you'll be able to check out uh, for the next academic 2022-2023 year. And that's pretty much selection days in a nutshell. I, I think it's a pretty simple process, but if you have any questions or concerns about the process or need any clarifications, uh, please contact us on one of the three points about my camera. I know for most of us, this is our first reservation days. Um, I've been here for four years. I've gone through two of them. I know for some of us, this is our first one, even for our sophomore level students and even for some of our transfer junior students. So we're more than happy to help you and assist you in um, clarifying anything. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and share it with your fellow otters. If you also want to leave a question in the comments below, feel free to do so as we'll monitor those carefully up until probably after selection days. Alright Otters, that's it for me today, and you Otter, have a good rest of your spring break.